What's up everybody? Welcome back to the 2300 Gear Jammer channel. We did clutch, transmission, engine stuff. Uh, it's all sitting in the car if you watched the last two videos. And this time I need to do all the intake stuff and exhaust, anything connected to the engine. And I need to prime the oil pump. So I'll do intake stuff, which is pretty slick. I just drop the intake in, bolt it on, couple of electrical connectors, everything. All the fuel system drops down in one shot. Header and turbo stuff's pretty basic, bolt on. And uh, once I've got the oil feed line for the turbo and the gauges hooked up inside the car, I'll reprime the oil system. So I did that when it was sitting on the stand, but I'll do it again once the engine's in the car. And then uh, after I get that stuff done, which won't take very long, we'll, we'll get through that pretty quick, I will do cooling system stuff, which is again, I made everything to be a drop-in module. And if you watch the Pinto video, I took all the parts off of the Mustang and put on the Pinto. So basically just got everything brand new for the Mustang and uh, it's an easy way to build two cars. You just buy two of everything. Let's get the stuff on the engine and then I'll come back around and we'll do the cooling system separate. Again, I'll put all the part numbers up, everything that I can. Let me know, leave some comments, leave a like, subscribe. You know what to do. Let's go. Eslinger bronze distributor gear and uh, the Stinger cam angle sensor kit. Mine's a 16 minus one and the cap looks a little bit different because these are prototype parts. So whatever you get might look a little different than that. I run these jiffy tight connections on the fuel system and the reason I do that is because I run a stock tank and I drive around on 87 so when I did drag week I would drive to the track on 87 and then reach under the car two quick disconnects and flip a relay and then I run Q16 at the track so it only takes about two seconds to switch this over so it works pretty well all good just like that you put the bolts where there aren't any bolts and we move on um, next thing oh I'll hit all the stuff on the intake and turbo specifics a little bit later. Might do that when it's uh, an idle video. That'd be the biggest video I ever do for some reason. Um, so next is I want to fill this huge hole here. And the cooling system is pretty much the same as what I said in the Pinto video. It's a drop-in unit, Fox radiator, cheap fan. We're going to do a dash 16 upper, dash 20 lower. The hoses from the water pump up to the water pump housing are 16s. And the water pump is a brand new Meiser WP-116S. When I did the cooling system in 2010, not one piece of it was new. Not one fitting, nothing. I didn't have money to spend on, you know, $130 lower radiator hose. So I just went, uh, went on eBay over and over and over and over again and bought a few fittings at a time until I got enough pieces to do the whole thing. Now this will be the first time that it's all brand new, so it'll probably break. Part numbers. Just a little bit too long, so 
I'll have to cut that down. Intake's done, except for the fact that the thread's pulled out on the throttle bracket, so that may have to come back off. Header's on, and the turbo's just sitting on there. So, uh, mainly the only thing we got done today was the cooling system. And uh, that's a pretty big one. None of this stuff had been installed before. I had to make some adjustments, and I had to shorten the lower hose. So now that everything's tightened where it needs to be, you can remove it and install it really, really quick. So, I'm pretty excited at least that portion of it's done. And I know what my OCD friends are saying. You're going to get that wiring, right? We're going to come back to that. That'll be at the end before it's time to start it. We'll go through. I just want to visually check all of that stuff. And uh, that's pretty much it for this one. Huge thanks for everybody that's been supporting the channel the last couple of days while I'm putting this thing back together. It takes a lot of effort to do videos and put the car together from scratch, and I haven't done this in a long time. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.